Welcome back guys to another realistic match. New patch hit and I'm testing out the new Italian lower tier fighter aircraft, the Reggiane 2001 CIA 1. And as an assart, is a decent fighter. It's really really good enough to compete against the same tier and higher tier fighters. Uh, you have to just have to know the, the benefits of it and what you cannot do. Uh, what it is definitely not is a very fast plane. If you take something uh, similar BR range, the uh, HE 100 for example is way faster than this. Also this Deportin D520 is Probably still a bit faster. And That's getting the hits in, but I created him, and here you can see with combat flaps, the turning circle can be quite good. The D520 doesn't have any chance. Roll rate could be better though. Um, to slow down. And a scissoring <laughs> flying around thing. But the D520. upper hand. Lots of wasting uh, of the machine guns. Yeah. And a lot of the enemy fighters, they sneak down uh, to the to the harbor here, down low. Uh, I also managed to shoot down quite a lot of our, my teammates here. There. Here I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should help those help those guys, but no. there's an A36 above, and I'm getting attacked from below. Quite dangerous B34. If there was medium bombers with front and back armament, and I decided to teach him a lesson here and knock him out, cutting off his fuselage. Uh, the problem here now is that my left water cooler, I think it is, in the left wing, uh, is gone. And so my cooling is definitely compromised. This will uh, become an issue a bit later on. And at this point, I am not realizing this problem. <laughs> going at quite high RPM, high engine setting. Uh, but I would also have big problems not doing this, because I'm surrounded by enemies below and above. This A36 here, another A36. This one tries to get behind me. This one, so to turn around. P39 is also below. This idea go after this one who's trying to get behind the my teammate. I'm not sure why he's not maneuvering at all. Okay. I don't have the 7.7s now, and even the 7.7s are enough to <laughs> let the A36 explode. Uh, but now, I'm 
no ammo and I need to base. Because my cooler is definitely overheating. Sadly, that's not showing in the replay here. But I only had a hundred rounds or so left on the front 7.7 machine gun. And so, in a quick, very quick session. Uh, Match, I managed to obtain four kills. And uh, this, by the way, uh, was the stock version of the Radiana 2001 without any modifications in terms of the performance and machine guns. So, this is pretty much the raw performance here. Our team will uh, manage to get the win here. Uh, Half of the enemy team crashes and the rest gets shot down before I can take off again. I'm now just flying back to base. And let's skip to the next one. And I'm back with another match of the first Regiana 2001. And this time it is with. This is a point of the. pretty much. fully uh, equipped version. So, um, it definitely is a slightly faster and the yeah, machine guns don't overheat as quickly, but they are not that bad in, in stock condition as well. Uh, but the better belts definitely <laughs> do more damage than the stock belts. Especially if you go with some of the API belts. That, uh, 12.7 half. One thing I should say about the, <laughs> the 2001 here is even though it looks very sleek and it's shiny and looks pretty fast, um, if you go about 500 kilometers an hour, the elevator will lock up quite heavily and pulling out of a dive can become quite tricky in such a, situa such a situation. Especially if you're attacking fighters that are low to the ground. Uh, this, uh, this can cause uh, some issues. This P36 here is... Well, I'm not sure what he was thinking. Maybe he thought he would get me. But I light him up. API rounds doing work here. And FV156. like he just didn't care. Yeah, he didn't care. Just kept, kept flying. <laughs> yeah, we let him burn. Even though it's risky because my teammates could sneak uh, snake him, but I... It is enough. Uh, the bombers, yeah, I don't intend to uh, try to hunt them down because if I try to climb with this thing, I'm also going to be slower than those bombers. And yeah, sitting slow uh, behind the bomber is not a good idea. <laughs> Especially if you need a lot of rounds to take them down, uh, as, is, as usual in these low tier matches. Machine guns. Uh, but we have an uh, interesting line of enemy planes down here that are all hugging the ground. They are in man very maneuverable planes, the hurricanes. And the <laughs> uh, here you see I'm going wave of 600, and this will nearly. <laughs> killed me because I just yeah pulling up in this plane and going at higher speeds can be very dangerous. It also seems to it, it doesn't have the best energy retention out there. This plane it just you know, I, w 
would say it's good enough. But it's the turning radius is pretty good. It also seems that the, the, the big fuse, uh, uh, the big wing surface of this plane, compared to the rest of it, uh, is uh, quite good in terms of wing loading. Uh, that's why it probably handles pretty good, pretty well in lower speed uh, fights as well. As long as you uh, don't get so slow that you cannot goes up, uh, it keeps his maneuverability quite well, flying slow. The only real downside of this, my opinion for its PR, is uh, not that good top speed and Whippa did is still good enough for, for the PR. And is not really good, but it is at least better than <laughs> say the later Reggiate variant. And here I'm turning well, against this H75, uh, the French Havoc. Also, one thing that is really good about this, if you compare it to other uh, Reggiane, well, Italian fighters in this VR range, is the, the ammo count. You have a lot of ammo, so you can easily get 4 or 5 kills from it if you don't spray too much. Uh, that can't be said for the, some of the earlier versions, like the Reggiane 2000. You can look before this in the, in the line that has I think 600 rounds or something for two 12.7s. That's <laughs> that's not that much. This one is probably the effective, there's double the ammunition, and it also has more guns. It, is, it isn't really that much faster than the earlier versions with the, with the radial engines. I really don't know why it, why it is so slow, but it is. At least it climbs pretty decently as well. You cannot compete again, yeah, against the 109s or so the early Spitfires, they will climb at the also, the Corsair is a pretty tough opponent if you get uh, up tiered. But the, the rest of the 2.0, 2.3, 2.7 fighters can be very effective against them. I'm now waiting on the, the Farman Bomber. Is right here. Uh, yeah, for you. But I'm going to skip forward until he takes off. And he took off. He's hugging the ground, trying to sneak around to bomb some stuff, but I followed his dot to the ground. And I'm trying to intercept him. Looking head on. It seems that the, the machine gun armament is also good enough against bombers. In the first game we shot down a, a B-34, this time a Farman. Two pretty, pretty tough bombers. And yeah, um, I, think, I hope these two games showed you what the, this first Regiane version is able to do. 
and that it is definitely an opponent that you have to take seriously. Uh, it's it's not an OP plane, definitely not, but it is a fun plane to fly, um, especially the first version of it. Uh, the second version, yeah, is pretty much the same as the Series 1, just slower, <laughs> and it's not that good in terms of the performance, but it can carry bombs. So if that's something that appeals to you, go for this version. And if you like big guns, or big more oomph, then go with the cannon version. But be aware, this version stock is incredibly slow. And also, once upgraded, it is it also has worse flight performance than the earlier versions. It just has two cannons, but with only 60 rounds per cannon. So that's not that great. So, slight overview about the Regiana planes, uh, the new ones. They are all very similar in terms of the flight performance with only minor differences. So, that's it for this video, guys. See ya.